to my channel alinaworld.com Wish you a very happy festive season. Let me take you to my world filled with fun and experiment on real facts of nature. You can make your own world with your imagination and skills. You can make others to be the part of it. Let's join and explore many more. Today, I would like to cover a topic how to start with miniature landscape. Let's take a break from our busy schedule and move to Alina world with a motive to explore more about miniature indoor garden. I will introduce you how to set up miniature landscape using beautiful succulent plants and grass. Alina World is the initiative to buzz your eternal emotion towards nature. It's a land of fun. It's an experience. It's a motivation for creation. It's an engagement. It's the peace which enhances your social engagement. Let's begin. garden is a mixture of trees, plants, handscaping and small accessories which are combined to create a lasting landscape. Such a garden can give life to interiors, terraces and balconies or even to small gardens by placing pots with decorative plants combined to fill the needs of recreating nature. For those who do not have space to arrange a garden or for the winter interior decor. The miniature garden has its own inner life. It is a world in flux that grows and changes. It has clear limits and a consistent level of abstraction. To make miniature world credible, comprehensive and malleable both for its designers and for those who see it. These gardens often contain a variety of backgrounds such as mountains, water, forests. They show impact world in which the viewer can immerse. Let's discuss why miniature landscape is getting very popular. It adds aesthetical beauty to your garden and home. It enhances indoor air quality. It have a positive impact in your family with good state of mind and eternal peace. It's a best time passing while connecting and refreshing your architecture skill, revamping emotional touch for nature. It's the only life component who does not require much attention and care. Let's start with how to prepare pot mixing, how to set up pot, how to plant. In my upcoming videos, I'll cover the topics about miniature landscape care, indoor plant selection, where to place, how often to water, do's and don'ts. Let's join me to know more about miniature gardening. Before moving to my video, I would like to appeal, please watch till end and subscribe my channel. I promise to revert with many more interesting and informative videos for you. Now we will know how to make 
pot mixing soil. The key components of pot mixing soil are perlite, cocoa pit, soil, and compost. Perlite. Perlite is a component which makes our pot mixing soil light. It also absorbs extra water in the soil. Few people use thermocol balls instead of perlite. As we know, Thermocol balls are synthetic and have no significance in the healthiness of pot mixing. It is recommended not to use the thermocol balls. Perlite is easily available in local nurseries and online stores. Another component for our pot mixing is cocoa pit. These are coconut scraps in a powder form. Cocoa pit helps in keeping the soil light, cool and gives nutritious value to the pot making soil in a lifelong run. It is easily available in local nurseries and online stores. Next component for our pot mixing soil is Soil. It is optional but recommended for well growth of the plant. It gives binding strength to the plant and helps it stand healthy. The fourth component in the pot mixing soil is compost. This is food for your plant. Well composed and sterilized compost is recommended for indoor plantations. Here I am going to use this compost for my pot, pot mixing. a ceramic pot by dimension 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters and the height is 8 centimeters. Make sure there is a hole at the bottom surface 
of the pot. It is easily available in local markets. Before putting the soil, cover the hole by a small stone to avoid spillage of the soil. Now, I will fill the compost inside the pot. Now we are ready with our pot. You can make a miniature landscape by using miniature dollhouses, mans, etc. It all depends upon your creativity, imagination and involvement. Here I have chosen a doll house, a river stone, a miniature dwarf and few white stones. Our pot is ready for plantations. I have chosen some succulents to plant in my miniature garden. Dig a small amount of soil and create space for the roots. Now, I am going to plant some more succulents in my garden. I have already prepared a miniature landscape garden before. Let's have a look.
don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe my channel